Hey folks, Captain Dave here. I want to do a follow-up of a video that I did several months ago. And I don't know if anybody even paid attention, but hey, what the hell. I throw them out there, see who bites, right? Um, I have two videos where I was literally talking about how indestructible the Shimano TR100 or 200G reels are. These graphite reels from Shimano, level wind, star drags, I've already done two videos talking about them that are quite popular on my uh, YouTube channel. These are my workhorse, these are my Timex reels. These are what uh, all my charters use. Uh, we've caught, you know, 100 pound black tips on them all the way from uh, giant to giant redfish to uh, you know, catching croakers, so, uh, or sheepshead, or black drum, or everything. These are my do-alls. I've got like 16 of them, okay, and I rotate them. This right here is the 100 series, which is, I mean, they're literally called today. Shimano has changed the names of this reel a couple times. They're really basically the Triton model, okay, but these are, this is the Sh Shimano TR100G. And that's the smaller version. The 200 is a little bit wider, okay? But this is the benchmark, right? For all, for me, all super duper durable reels for charter fishing, okay? Everybody can handle them. Flip the lever back, flip it up, bam. You're in, you're ready to go. Um, I match everything up to ugly sticks, of course. This is a light really light ugly stick striper rod and 50 pound braid okay but that's not the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is to talk about a reel that i purchased and mentioned on my youtube channel several several months ago and that is this right here this is the Daiwa, and this is the actual Daiwa saltist l w 20 HC LW 20 HC HC is the deal with this okay this reel comes in an HC model of 20 and 30 30 being a little bigger okay the follow-up part of this video is the fact that now I've had them for months I have failed to catch, I haven't used them yet for a 100 pound black tip or a 100 pound tarpon or anything yet, but they will definitely catch some big redfish, no problem. Uh, comparing the Shimano, they're about the, rut, the same size. So when it comes to a casting reel, bottom reel, um, drifting reel, trolling reel, what I like is having round, conventional do-alls. A reel that can sort of do it all, okay? But what I wanted to do was step up for my personal means. I wanted to step up to a higher speed. The Shimano is like a 5.3 to 1. I wanted to go to a uh, little upgrade and see how it was. So that's why I went to this Daiwa. I've always been a Shimano guy. Always been a Shimano guy. Well, I can tell you right now, I think I'm really turned into a Daiwa guy. Okay? The reason being is this right here is one wicked reel. The Saltist, it's all aluminum. It has got a super beefy level line for us guys who, you know, we're casting, we're bottom fishing. We can't be, you know, uh, putting the line back and forth manually okay it's got the same thing as the um, as the uh, Shimano okay let me type I'll loosen this drag up a little bit so but let me tell you all the differences between the benchmark which is the Shimano the TRN 100G the Timex okay takes a lick and keeps on ticking 
the, that's the benchmark that I'm grading everything against. Okay, number number one, this reel you can get on eBay for about 185. Okay, the Shimano you can pretty much get between anywhere from 50 to 70 dollars. So this is about three times as expensive. It's the same size. It's not graphite. It's aluminum. And it also has one of the true reasons that I even bought it, and I've got two of them, is for this. You flip the lever back. Let me pay out some line here. You flip the lever back. Half turn on the handle. It self-engages. You can't do that on the Shimano. It's flip the lever, flip the lever to engage the reel. Okay. The next thing is, it's six point, what is it? 6.1 to 1 gear ratio. This thing is ultra fast. It's got the auto engaging. It's got the, the ticking for the drag. That is extremely uh, nice to have. When you're not paying attention to every single thing down here, you're in a you're in a fish fighting position, and you just want to go, and you know that that positive sound is making that drag a little tighter or a little looser. And then look at the size of the handle, the swept handle, twice the size of what you'll ever get on the Shimano. But that's okay. The Shimano, I mean, it works. It works, and I mean, nobody minds. Okay, but this is absolutely wicked. It comes with two screw points here, or two bolt points, and it comes with a real clamp. Uh, you don't get that on the Shimano 100G, okay? But again, over two and a half times the price, okay? And as far as you know what a lot of people think is they're gonna pick this up okay they're gonna pick this this dial assaultist up they're gonna put it on a nice casting rod and the next thing they think they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be throwing a quarter ounce jig and shrimp with it no you're not gonna do that this has no adjustment no brakes no nothing I can throw pretty much a half ounce jig no problem with it because why I'm a bait caster. I'm a good bait caster. I've been bait casting my whole life. Okay, I don't do the spinning thing. If I if I go to a spinner, it's just to throw one thing, almost no weight at all. But I prefer bait casting. And um, it's got this big giant gear case on it. Okay, this the follow up on this reel is this thing is tough as nails. I'm super happy with these Shimano's. Uh, or I mean these Daiwa saltists as well as I'm happy with my charter rods and reels this 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 Shimano TR 100G but then <clears throat> if I want to go casting I mean and I'm casting you know something really light or if I'm doing some long distance casting I have a whole bunch of Shimano Corrados Right, and here I was, I was throwing a Spro jig, right, with a little paddle tail on it. These are all matched up, um, these rod, these reels are matched up with the uh, Ugly Stick Tiger Light casting version, six foot nine, medium action, which I just love these rods. But, um, so, you can't compare the Saltist to something like the Corrado, and you can't compare the saltest 100% to the Shimano uh, graphite reel okay so it's in between right and that's the reason I'm showing you this is um, it's all metal it's heavy it's really a heavy reel okay you go and you grab you grab this one with the TR 100G graphite Shimano on it, and I mean, this doesn't weigh anything. But, you know, if you're not a Shimano fan, and Shimano does sometimes kind of 
want, I guess, to... I don't know what they're wanting to do, but they're getting extremely pricey. Shimano reels are... I mean, they're very pricey. Now, they started all that with, you know, when it came to that $500, and I had one, $500 Tranex. Largest low profile, if you want to call it, bait casting reel known to man. Well, guess what? That was a $500 bait casting reel made for pretty much big game. Well, what did Daiwa do? They came out the Lexa. They got the Lexa 100, which is a small bait caster. And they came out with the 300, a little bit bigger. The 300's probably about like the Shimano 300. Then they came out with the 400 Lexa. That's the comparison reel to the Shimano Tran X 500, okay? And uh, what's the difference between Shimano and the Daiwa? Let's say the Shimano Tranex and the Daiwa Lexa 400. Hmm, from what I can gather right off the get-go, um, let's see, about $200. About $200. So, I'm becoming a real fan of Daiwa, okay? But, one thing I don't have to show you, because I, I, one thing I think Daya was making a huge mistake is, is Daya makes a reel just like the Shimano TR100G and 200G. They make a graphite, all level line, star drag, simple reel. And it's not the uh, Saltus, but it's called the sea line they took the sea line model of reels and they made one or two and they made them all graphite and they rock they basically got them for these like great lakes fishermen right and they're huge they're uh what they call like a, a 40 or a 50 or something like that and they hold like 800 yards of 20 pound mono or 40 pound braid or something. I mean, it's just they're too big for me. Okay. I don't need that line capacity. Or, you know, I'd have probably a couple. These right here, the Shimano's, I mean, putting 50 pound braid on these, these hold, you know, 300 plus yards. You get into the saltest, which I'm telling you right off the get go here, I mean, this is one of my favorite reels right now I just absolutely love it I like heavy I'm not a, I'm not a puss I'm not sitting there casting all day oh the reels so heavy I can't take it I ain't no damn bass fisherman I'm not sitting there casting lures all damn day and if I do I know what to use I pick up one of these because I got it and that's a little lighter and it casts like a country mile okay I do a lot of bottom fishing and just a lot of plugging and, you know, casting big, big lures or using this to sight cast, okay? And I want a really fast action, you know, I want a fast retrieve and I've got 65 pound braid on here, okay? So um, the saltest, you know, is for me because it's smaller. That sea line, they're like big graphite trolling reels um, I think pens come out with what do they call it the Seagate or the fathom or something giant graphite like trolling reels they hold just too much line for just the average guy um, but this is all about a follow-up I would highly check into the salt is 20 or 30 HC model <laughs> and the reason being is this right here. When you're into fast action, you're, you're, ca you're, you know, you're casting out, and maybe you don't want to have to do that. I didn't want to. I wanted to do this and engage. You know how hard it is to find a conventional reel.
conventional, not not a super casting reel. I mean, I'd say compared to say a Garcia Ambassador round reel. This is a step up from those. Okay, it can handle you know bigger fish. It's got a bigger gearbox. It's heavier duty everything. So, but you know how hard it is to find like a level line conventional reel that when you do this, you can turn the handle and it'll gauge. So Daiwa, you came out with the right reel. You came out with something that somebody like me has been aching for for years. And that is cast, turn the handle. I love it. <laughs>